Hello YouTube friends. I'm in a muddle here but a muddle of such beautiful colour. I brought down from my spare room one of my boxes full of Liberty fabric and I'm sorting it now. I'm ironing the pieces I want to use. They're here on the ironing board, the ones I want to use next. So the box is here <laughs> and I have a big project in mind for what I want to do with this fabric. Also, I brought down all my Indian fabric too. These are the, um, well, they're the leftovers. I've got quite a lot, but this is what's left over from the trip I made to India a few years ago, 10 years ago, <laughs> and brought back lots of fabric and subsequently have bought more. And I made all sorts of things with that fabric. I'm not going to be working with that today. I've got it down because I want to look at it and have a think through. But what I'm doing at the moment then is sorting out the fabric that I'm going to need for the project that I'm doing. And in doing that, I'm sorting through even small scraps of Liberty like this and making them into different areas because not all of this fabric is going to be suitable for what I want to make. So the stuff that isn't, I'm putting on a different pile and I'm going to do something different with that. So I'm kind of uh, excited because it's all mumbled and jumbled up here. It's not in any <laughs> uh, in any uh, organised way, but that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to organise it a little bit better. Um, there's so many beautiful Liberty fabric, Liberty designs, and I've used Liberty before in all sorts of ways. And I think I've even I've even got a Liberty series, which I will link to, <laughs> um, that I made oh a few years ago now. But uh, the colours are beautiful. The fabric itself is beautiful. It's got a oh, it's got a really beautiful drape to it. It's just got a lovely feel. So I've, I know what I'm doing. Oh, hello. Do you know what you're doing as well? <laughs> hmm. Yes, she says. I know exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to carry on taking this fabric out and putting it into sort of random piles and the pile that I've got for my project I'll sort through that more carefully later. I'll show you some of the designs though as I come across them because there's some really iconic ones. This is the first one I'll show you. This is a fabric called Wiltshire Berry and it comes in all sorts of different colourways that's the blue one and actually up here on the board I've got the um, red one one of the red ones because there's many so I'm going to put that in the sort of blue area there and so there's a bit purpley ones here I've got all sorts really I have made quite a few Liberty type projects in the past I made uh, some Liberty colour wash quilts I talk all about them I think in the Liberty series so if you're interested what am I talking about Liberty? If people don't know what I mean, <laughs> this fabric, let's get a piece. It's all, it's all beautiful. I was going to say, let's get a beautiful piece, but it's all beautiful. OK, here's a pile here. There's some more of that Wiltshire Berry in a beautiful greeny background. I might make a pile of all the Wiltshire Berries over there and do something different with them. Now, there's also some very modern uh, designs because Liberty uh, fabric, it's uh, printed onto a really lightweight cotton, but strong, called Tarna Lawn. I explain in that series, but Lake Tarna in the Sudan is where this cotton was originally grown. And it's got a very long staple, which means it's long length so that when it's, it's also thin and strong. So when it's woven, uh, it gives a real strength, but a real lightness, which gives Liberty its beautiful feel that's almost like silk. So here's some. This was a gift from a friend a few years ago and I used some of it, but I haven't used all of this yet. So we'll put that out as well. It's beautiful, isn't it? This blue. I love that one. Oh, so and then there are some designs I don't like quite so much, but I've got a plan for, for how I might use up quite a lot of this stuff. This is another lovely iconic fabric. Um, I don't know what the name of that one is. They've all got names. So. Wiltshire Berry. There's one called Betsy. 
Uh, there's one called the Strawberry Thief. Let me find you that one. I, I've, I think I took the Strawberry Thief out earlier. Can you see it, Norma? No, she says she's not really, she's not really au fait with all the, ah, there it is. This is a fabric called the Strawberry Thief and it's a William Morris design. So much history in these fabrics. I'll show you a bit of the Strawberry Thief. There now, you can see the Strawberry Thief, can't you? It's a lovely fabric, that one. I really, really like that one. So that will be in the project that I want to make. I'm just going to bring it all out. That's a love. That's Betsy. That one's called Betsy. Uh, I don't know what this one's called, but that's another of my favourites. So it's really, really good to get all of this out and make some decisions about how to use it. So some of the really dark stuff. That is not Liberty. It's just a lightweight cotton. So we'll we'll evict that. Another one of that lovely. Wiltshire Berry, another strawberry thief in a different colourway. Ah, and now we're down into the very small pieces of fabric. And these are all five inch squares, I think. Yeah. These were all cut for a project I was doing, oh, years ago now. <laughs> Put those over there. Yeah, I, I know it looks chaotic with a cat in the middle of it, but I do know what I'm doing. Sometimes. A few uh, months ago, maybe this time last year, maybe uh, in the summer last year, I made the pincushion kits um, with using some of this Liberty. There's another Wiltshire Berry look in a beautiful red. Um, I'm not making those again. That's not what I'm doing. But I am remembering all these lovely fabrics. OK, that's going over there. Oh, this is a little red seam here. Now, as well as these uh, patterns, beautiful patterns, I've got some solids, which are Liberty Plains. So, right, I'll just move these up a little. Here, then, is a whole load of plain colours of Liberty. It's the same weight, but it's uh, dyed in these really beautiful solid colours which sometimes are really good for the back of something or the lining of something small that you might be making but uh, what I might do then is put all the planes back in the box so that I can find them when I need them so I'm going to put all those back in there just to give me a bit more space on the table it hasn't given me much more space has it <laughs> okay then so I'm going to carry on sorting and pressing and putting into two distinct piles the, the fabrics I want to use for the, the project I'm making and all the others, which um, I had an idea that uh, I don't know. I'll tell you about it if I do it now. The other day um, I was watching, I put on the BBC iPlayer and sometimes I look at what films they've got showing and they were showing The Sound of Music. Now, I've seen The Sound of Music hundreds and hundreds of times because um, I actually worked as a cinema charrette for one summer and they were playing The Sound of Music. So I watched it like three times a day for all the whole, one whole summer. <laughs> so I know it word by word and every now and then I watch it again. But it said, do you want to watch The Sound of Music, Kate? It said, I said, yeah, go on. And in it, of course, there is that lovely song about my favourite things. So I thought I would tell you while I was busy doing this about some of my favourite things. One of the first, of course, being the marvellous uh, mix of, Lib of Liberty fabric I've got here. Beautiful, gorgeous Liberty fabric. But another one is Fentiman's Ginger Beer. <laughs> and it's um, one of my favourite things. So while I sort fabric... I'm going to drink, <coughs> bubbles have gone up my nose. I'm going to drink ginger beer. I'm going to be sorting and ironing for quite a while now. So I'll get back to you when I've got a plan. And I'm formulating a plan the whole time. 
that's everything on the table now. I'll show you what it looks like at the end of this little process. So it's much later that same day and we've had a change of scene behind me here. I took the quilt down that I finished and I am I'm putting aside all the fabric that I want to save for the project that I'm doing. Uh, quite a lot of it there. It's all there waiting for me to think about that new project. But in the meantime, I cut some four inch squares and I cut loads in this um, lovely peachy plain colour and then some of the colours that I'm not going to use in this new project. Four, four inch squares that will finish at three and a half. And there it is. So I've laid it all out like that. I'm, I don't really need to make this, but I was enjoying sorting out all this liberty. So I thought, well, let's do a little project with some of the stuff that I'm not going to use. And that's what it looks like. Do you like it? It's probably going to be a cock quilt, maybe. I, I like the checkerboard look. I'm not 100% certain about the layout. but I think the best thing I can do is stitch it all together and see if I like it then. It's going to be quite small. I've got it written down here. It's I may have to add some more squares up the side and along the bottom because once I've you've got half an inch off each of those squares, it's actually going to be quite small. But I've got plenty of this, of these three fabrics. So I think the best thing I can do is stitch it all together. So I've had a nice afternoon sorting out all this fabric, putting some of it aside, finding stuff that I really liked. And then this happened. what it, for about half an hour it just snowed really really heavily it stopped now and it's all melting but it looked like uh, the middle of winter instead of the middle of april okay so let's uh, i saw that together see what it looks like and whether we like it or not and then i think it's just going to be a lovely project to have so that i can do some hand quilting i uh, just sit of an evening and do a bit of stitching on a small yeah. thing okay Let's see what it looks like sewn together. I've got a very good feeling it's going to need more squares on both the top and the bottom just to make it a decent size. It's the next day now and I've uh, put the whole thing on the board as you saw yesterday and then I'd, I thought I'd do this time lapse of me sewing it together and um, a few things to note here. <laughs> I just love this uh, little bit where Norma's shaking her head and walking around and and then eventually she decides, watch, she's going to climb into the Box of Liberty. <laughs> That's OK. Don't worry about it. And so the other thing to notice is that I'm dressed like a newsreader. So I've got my uh, top half's dress, but my bottom half's got pyjamas on. And also over my shoulder there, you can see... Um, a bottle that we used to have wine in, but now has water in for my plants. So whenever I get an empty wine bottle, I fill it with water and leave it on the windowsill or near the plants or wherever. <laughs> so I can top the plants up whenever they need it and the water's nice and warm, you know, in the sunshine. <laughs> Doing a bit of ironing now. And my kids who, you know, one I remember one of them seeing it and saying, you know, if you have these new videos, mum, people will think that you've just got wine all over the house. It's water. Now I'm ironing the, the One Direction, that famous boy band. Any odd number one gets ironed with the odd number on the left and the even numbers get ironed with the even numbers on the right. And that, of course, means that the seams will nest. So here it is finished. And I really like the size. It's uh, 42 by 28 inches, which I think is a quite a nice size for a cock quilt. What do you think, Norma? I've got this fabric that I'll use for the backing. I've got some of this left as well that I could use for the binding or I could bind it with this as well. But those aren't decisions that need to be made now because this was a bonus project from sorting out all my fabric. And I have now. I've got all the fabric that I want to use for the new project put to one side and the rest of it's in the box that Norma was asleep in. She's here now. So the project that I'm doing is the next along over on Patreon. And so that will be starting on Tuesday. And I'm going to be talking about that there. And it's uh, so it's got Liberty in it. 
over on Patreon as well, we've got the weekly videos on a Friday that uh, Anna and I do and the alongs on a Tuesday. There's all sorts of other things going on on Patreon if you want to check it out. I always leave the link to these things in the description box below. As well, there'll be the link to the shop where we're going to do a shop update. Anna's away on holiday this week and she helps me with all of that. So we're going to do a shop update in a couple of weeks time. And uh, the mailing list, uh, which uh, you can find that if you go to the home page of the website and I do the draw from the mailing list. I draw a random number and that person gets the product that we're updating with that month. And I got this lovely card from the person who I sent last month's um, gifts to. And she says, thank you very much. My first 50th birthday present. So that was a nice surprise <laughs> for her. And lovely, you don't have to send me a card by the way, but thank you very much indeed uh, to you. And so if you wanted to be in with a chance of winning next month's shop product, join the mailing list and you'll also hear about when that update's going to happen. All those links are always down in the description box below. And at this point, this is where I look to Norma for help. And because Arne and Carlos, when they get to this bit, they do the formalities. She's rubbish at reminding me to do the formalities, aren't you? But that's simply subscribe if you would like to. Press the notifications bell so that you don't miss when I post a new video. Uh, give us a thumbs up and a, a comment if you want to share this video. All of those things really help the channel to grow and the channel is growing. It's lovely and it's really, really nice to have all you new people on the lime green sofa. I'm going to on the end of this video, I'm going to leave a link to the playlist, uh, the Liberty playlist, so that if you uh, if you have whetted your appetite about Liberty and you want to find out more about it, uh, then that playlist has got loads of of the projects I've made in the past there. Uh, so um, thank you very much indeed for watching and I'll catch up with you next time. Thank you. Say thank you, Norma, my little demon.